fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases and now gets to home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Hitting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Steven Matz is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. That's basically giving up a run and in inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Coming to the plate now, Ender Inciarte. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. A little chilly, but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. And now here's the starting nine for the visiting Atlanta Braves. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Well, in this day and age, when so many teams are relying on that long ball to win games for them, this isn't one of those clubs, really. They're in the bottom third of the league in home runs, so they're going to put the ball in play. They're going to try to manufacture runs. They can run into one every now and then, but that's not the key part of their offense. So coming to the plate, Nick Markakis, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. A little bouncer. On to first, and there were two down. Batting third. First base. So stepping five. in, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. He's currently Freeman. tied for second place on the team in home runs. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2, you're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. Reyes is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. It's the Braves nothing. Mets coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jaime Garcia, Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now, so I'm curious to watch him throw in this game. Now with the plate, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. As if things aren't tough enough here second. playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And, oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, the head to head line against Garcia, batting 506 for 12. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. 
Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. And he's back standing. Runners on the move for second. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. And that's through for a hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Again, a little old school baseball. The number two hitter with a little bit of back control. We've seen guys in the two spot that have power, but I like a guy that has back control. To send the runner right there, he gets the base hit. Now they're sitting first and third. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready with another 0 2. Line hard toward right center. And there's a base hit as the runner will score from third, and that gives the Mets a 1 0 lead. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. Batting fourth, right fielder, Yoannis Atanas. Standing in now, Yoannis Cespedes, chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Stepping in, David Wright. As we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Two and two count. Here it comes. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, that base hit right there gives them nine-game hitting streak. T.J. Rivera. Digging in, T.J. Rivera. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Runners are at first and third, one away. in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two. That changeup for the second strike right there is a great sign. When you're struggling like he has early in this game, you got to get in a rhythm. The changeup, all speed pitches, all those puts your mechanics in the right place to throw strikes. On the ground now for Bonifacio. This could be two. Rodriguez for one. On to Freeman, and they turn the double play to end the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So here's Matt Kemp now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now Kemp awaits the 1 1. In the air out to left. Conforto has it in his tracks. He's got it one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the no, outfield, Joanna Cespedes. This guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys to play. He is so fun to watch throw. Digging in, Sean Rodriguez. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Here's the one and one delivery. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. On the ground up the middle, scooped up on the backhand. Throw gets him, two down. 
batting set. Third baseman number 13. At the plate, Adonis Garcia. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Success on a three and one count to keep the inning alive here. He gives up a single there, but he retired five in a row. Man, he looks sharp to me. Suzuki. Now at the plate, Kurt Suzuki. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready with two balls and a strike. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. A runner on first with two away. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Hit on the ground toward the left. Wright's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. The head to head line against Garcia have yielded just a two for twelve. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Here's Juan Ligares. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. No one out with a runner at second. A fastball right over the outside corner. Two two here it is. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised if he does the splits on you every now and then. Settling in now, Steven Matz. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. H these Braves as they take the field here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Well, Matt, it's always nice to win the first game on the road, and, and then you get ready for game two. It just makes you feel like, hey, this could be a pretty productive road trip. If you win two games in a row, then you're really knowing we got a chance to have a great trip. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Hit hard up the middle or a reaching try as he knocks it down and they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Well that's going to go as a base hit no doubt about it but I love the effort by the shortstop him knocking that ball down right there probably saved a run now the runner does end up at third base but he might have scored had that ball got by him nice play of knocking it down he's set here comes the one one takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two that was an interesting pitch Matt look we're in a double play situation and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker get that ground ball maybe get a double play Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. And this guy loves to throw oh, the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. He 
in now as Drubal Cabrera. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. Two runs have scored. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Now a 5 nothing lead. Some guys just rise to the occasion when the lights oh, are the brightest, and he's definitely in that category. Michael he's been a clutch hitter all year, and here's another in a long line of clutch ABs. Yeah, and that adds three more ribbies to his already impressive total. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So their runners at the corners now with one away. Whoa, he hit that one a little bit too right hard. Here, Line drives single, but the runner at second had to hold that's up. Better. So he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Nope. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here's the pitch on two and two. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Kemp racing back at the track. He gets to it and oh, he botched it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in there. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate hey, MVP hey, candidate this season. Hey, hey, Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Standing in now, David Wright. This is line to left. Markakis has the catch, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's seven nothing. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly okay. hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to sack him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. From the belt, the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone 2-1. and one. Man, it's been a long inning. He's grinding through it. Look, he's got an open base, and I, any other time I'd say maybe pitch around him, but you can clearly see this inning's taking his toll on him right now. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count, and you get a fastball right there, middle in. I don't know. I'd have had a swing at that. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. We play two full. The Mets lead this one seven to nothing. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, he's watched himself struggle now, and his average has fallen below 240. So that's a welcome hit for him, and I'm sure the manager as well. Garcia. In now, Jaime Garcia. 
And the pitcher is in fact bunting here as he puts this one down. But a strong throw gets him at second so the sacrifice does not pay off here. On to first but not in time as he beats it out. Uh, he got the bunt down but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box now. Ender Inciarte. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. He's set. Here's the two two. And he just misses with a curveball. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not it's ball four anyways. Cespedes has a long run but he takes charge for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Fielder number 22. Striding in once Markakis. again, Nick Markakis. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes. Played on the backhand. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Braves strand one. They're down by a touchdown, 7 0. Ready for another chance? Travis Darno. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here it comes on one and one. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And gone up into the second deck. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Number 11 for him on the season as they have widened this lead to eight now. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And that is going to spell the end for starter Jaime Garcia. So he'll make his way to the dugout here as he'll turn things over to the bullpen from here on out. John Banks is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Into the box Juan Ligares. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. This guy's just a good hitter. You can tell. Anytime you get a base hit on two strikes and you stay with that ball right there, that's why the average is going to stay over 300. Standing in now, Steven Matz called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a bunt attempt here with two strikes that'll get foul, so he'll become out number one. A shortstop, number seven. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. Ray is awaiting the 3 1. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Another full count pitch home. He's running again. 
Grounded back up the middle. There's one on the first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. The Mets strike for a run on this home run by Travis Darno. We played three full. It's the Mets eight and the Braves nothing. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Freddie Freeman settles in to start out the inning. A high fastball is in there. Now that's not fair. Hey, you're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. That was a good now job batting. tying him up inside right on that strikeout pitch. Matt. It wasn't yeah. even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. In now, Matt Kemp. Just a tick behind for a strike. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it oh, hard. This is Atlanta. one of those that you need to Short get stop. in the hit column. Sean this is a good Rodriguez. jump start for him. Stepping in now, Sean Rodriguez. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Adonis Garcia digs in now. A base hit in his first trip. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. In there at the letters, one and two now. Maybe lucky to make contact there as this curveball's hit fouled off to the left hand side. Here he comes again, one, two. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. From the belt, the pitch takes this the other way to right. Cespedes is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for Atlanta. Still 8 nothing. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. Lifetime against this particular arm. 14 hits in 46 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. A called strike over the outside corner. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And he is in to second with a double, his third hit of the night. Man, that's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a good now pitch like running. that, and he still gets a Last base hit. Fielder. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And a rather easy first down. Now 
Now batting. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joanna Cespedes, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready with the 0-2. And a neck-high fastball that time. I like how he wasted that pitch. It was close enough to tempt the hitter to swing, but now you got him thinking, will he come back with another fastball? You got him set up. Off-speed, hard pitch, anything now. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2-2. Two and two. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Oh, that's a good sign right there. After the fastball, he gets that change up and he stayed right on it. Just couldn't keep it fair. He's seeing the ball well, though. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit hard to short. Rodriguez is right there. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off hey, double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Well, when you're behind in the count like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Kemp has a read on it. And that's the third out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of any number five we go. Mets out in front, nine to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Kurt Suzuki. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Boy, he got himself on a good hitter's count and hit that changeup. Maybe he had a good scout report that he tries to pitch backwards. Going to throw off-speed pitches in fastball counts and fastballs into breaking ball count. Into the box, Emilio Bonifacio. Late that time for a strike. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. They'll force it up to second, and they do get the out there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the, the throw. Pitcher, number so that one wasn't quite John hit sharply enough to Dance. turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Ah, uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box now. Ender Inciarte. Out of play off to the right. Ground ball left side. Gloved by right. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Brave strand one. They're looking up at a 9-0 deficit. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. 2 1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count. Do you still pitch for the strikeout here. I think one of the keys Matt you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Digging in to try it again, Travis Darno. 
Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. And it's three and one now. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Lagares. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. Shot back up the middle. Inciarte is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets, but they hold a nine to nothing lead. Ready for another shot now. Nick Markakis. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. The one and two pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Again, a one two. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. First baseman number five, Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. Two gone. Now batting. So here's right Matt fielding. Kemp now. Matt One for two on his Kemp. line so far in the game. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Hit on the ground to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They're down nine to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Steven Matz getting to hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, can't let that bother him right there. This might be a good time for the catcher to have a little conversation. And just tell him, next pitch. Don't worry about that one. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. And the throw to first That's is in time, one gun. Seven, Jose Digging in Reyes. once again, Jose Reyes. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. One and two now. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. Rodriguez takes this one at short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. The batter number 13. Digging in and looking for more as Dribble Cabrera. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Who thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. Well, that was two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him, but now the two-hitter comes to the plate. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three, but they'll live with it as they hold a nine-to-nothing lead. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Striding in once again Sean Rodriguez 
No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in to try it again, Adonis Garcia, a hit in two tries so far. Hard hit ball to second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Another hit, another multi hit game. He has been on now some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Suzuki. Ready once again, Kurt Suzuki. He's one for two in the ball game. Runners on first with one down. Here we go. Two. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now batting. So stepping in, Emilio Bonifacio. Emilio Bonifacio. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 1 1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for it's Atlanta. For the They're looking up at a 9 0 deficit. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Right there at the belt, 1 and 2 now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Michael Conforto for the sent packing to begin right. the bottom of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, Yoenis Cespedes. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is taken in for the second out. The third baseman, number five. Here's David the third baseman, David Wright. Wright. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Now here's the pitch. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Well, I thought with two outs right there, that situation, he probably had the green light 3 and 0. Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. And I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3 1. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. But baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here came into this game on fire with the stick and he's doing that here that's now two hits so far for him in this one See you, man. stepping in now TJ Rivera now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now Thanks sets. Here's the one and two. Now a hard liner towards short. That's in there. Base hit. Wright is on his way home. And he will beat the tag by Suzuki safe at home plate. Matt, talk about two out lightning. First two guys are retired. Next guy doubles. And then bam, a single to drive in a run. Two out lightning.
standing in now. Travis Darnot. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Hit back up the middle. There to take it is Bonifacio. A step on second for the force, and that'll do it. It's a run on two hits, one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets 10, and the Braves nothing. Brandon Phillips plate. is going to be asked it's to get things going here as a lead off the top number of the four, eighth. Brandon Phillips. On the ground, up the middle. Reyes is there. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Number Something number to be said for home Inver cooking, apparently, as you get a look at our line score. This one never in doubt, as the home standing nine have outplayed their guests in every facet of the game. Here's Ender Inciarte. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. And this is fouled at the plate. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there, and now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch, and it's really working out for him. Line towards center field. And that'll make him one for four in this one. That's the sixth hit of the night. They haven't hit a lot of balls hard. That's why that one stood out. That was one of the first ones that Nick really they squared up all night off of him. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Into the box, Nick Markakis. Swing and a liner. Runner at first here, one man out. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Braves go down quietly. Starting to look bleak. Down 10 nothing. Josh Colmenter enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Josh Here's Juan Ligares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Digging in. Steven Matz. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop Jose now, Jose Reyes. Reyes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One out and a runner on second base. Now a look and a throw back to second. Six. Runner back standing. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Runner at second here with one man out. This pitch is popped up. Garcia camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Ready with the one and one. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. A 
decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Gets dirty and gloves it. Touche, sir. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Now batting, right fielder. Digging in now, Matt Kemp. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. He's been doing a nice job out there in the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And that's going to be a base hit for Kemp. So he tried to double up with him on a curveball. The problem with that is now the batting. first one you recognize, Short the second one you hit. Sean nice job. Rodriguez. In now, Sean Rodriguez. Had a good cut there, but he can't time the breaking ball. That evens us at two and two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it to the dirt and turn one over for you. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. Ah, flip of his glove for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. Steven Matz earns win number 15 on the year. Jaime Garcia was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Ten runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left six. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers then Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culberson, a game-winning home run. What a moment to have.